welcome back, Hookaholics, all you foul mouth fishing fam out there. Uh, today I'm going to jump into a really quick video. I've got some things from the store and something from mail order as well. Um, and a way that uh, I got my mail order stuff about $30, $40 worth of stuff that I got for 15 bucks. So like I said, um, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I got a few items, um, especially right now. Uh, we're going into September and October. The transition's there. Fall's starting. Believe me, the fish know. The leaves on the trees have started to change rapidly. I'm kind of hoping that we're going to have some sort of a flow into the winter season and we're not going to have one of these super hot, uh, you know, August, Septembers and then all of a sudden just jet into freezing cold weather. Um, I, I kind of like seasons. Uh, that being said, uh, I got a few items at Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, one of them being this little Pro Box, which we're going to crack into in a little bit. But first, uh, I, got a I got a little mail order, a couple of items, um, and this really is the bargain of the episode. So I went on to shop Carl's. Uh, they've just released, I'm sure you've seen all the, uh, the YouTubers have it, um, Shop Carl's has, from 10,000 Fish, a brand new frog. Now, right now as the waters are cooling, as a trend is going, frog fishing top water, spooks, poppers, this is a great time as that grass starts to die out to start tossing frogs, top water baits, uh, walking baits specifically. Uh, last one, we had that 1-3 Fishing's um, top water walking bait with that little prop in there, little... little pseudo walking spook mixed with a buzz bait uh, that's an awesome awesome bait especially for like spy fishing to see what what's actually out there going early morning late afternoon frogs are something that i absolutely adore and from 10,000 fish they have what they call their tataki frog so i'm sure you've seen this um, it's a new idea in design for your typical soft belly frog i got it in three Three key colors for me. Um, if you know me from fishing frogs, I go for the belly color, not the back color. I'm not here to catch the fisherman. I'm here to catch the fish. So what I got was I got the speckled bullfrog. That's going to be my early morning bluebird sky um, white pattern. So the speckled bullfrog pattern has that nice uh, green, a little bit of iridescent yellow chartreuse on the nose on the back but on the belly the most important part is you've got this nice white belly with some cr contrasting black this would work great in uh, shad or if you have a lot of crappie um, as a forage feed for your bass definitely a catcher it's got a really unique kind of keeled design but most importantly is the way they've weighted these um, typically your frogs they're just like a uh, a penny weight on the back. Uh, this one, they've molded that weighting system, tungsten, into the hook's shanks itself, so the weight is definitely sat back, which is something that I actually love in, in frogs. Previously, when I've had a frog that more keels true and horizontal, I've actually stuffed things like glass beads, um, bird shot, what have you, into the back end and then allowed it to give me more of a nose up presentation. So when I'm walking, I can walk the frog a lot better. It's more substantial. And also, if I twitch the rod, I can actually get a pseudo plopping, popping uh, action out of it. When it seats butt down, it'll pop this way as well as walk a little bit more strategically. They mix it with a little bit of this like marabou flashy kind of um, uh, I don't know, frilly, shiny kind of material, as well as the uh, silicone skirt, um, which I really like. So that's the the speckled bullfrog color. Again, I use this one is going to be used for my early morning uh, bluebird sky white presentation that I'm going for. Uh, with that, I also like 
to go with something more chartreuse -y. So I decided to get their bluegill pattern. Uh, bluegill is a good forage in, in my water as well. This one has a bit more of a green hue. Again, more frog-esque, but also a little patch of yellow there. And it's got like a nice bluegill, purple, black, and a little shimmer of like a greeny blue, shiny flash material in the tail or in the, in the legs there. Um, again, just... I don't really pay attention to this. I'm always looking towards the belly of the bait. Uh, that's my kind of chartreuse color. Um, mid, you know, leading into midday, I'd probably do this. And then, of course, as always, you got to have a solid black, um, solid black color. If you still have lily pads and grass that's ticking off the surface, this is another great color. So this one is the midnight stealth they call it so it's not truly black it's a charcoal gray kind of tone a little bit of a silvery white pattern there um more black on the sides i well more black on the back a little gray on the sides with with some black striations and then you've got again that original like shiny silvery color along with some black um silicone in this one again that weight system is really what caught my eye um I'm really interested to see how these work. They are a soft, soft frog. They do compress very easily, and uh, they definitely have sticky, sticky hooks. <laughs> so that's good. Um, they are designed with like a hip in them. They're not the only um, frog that I've seen with this kind of design, uh, but they do have a nice pronounced little hook guard hips kind of cove into it. What I also do like about these is they have a sort of a channel here. So it'll funnel down um, a little bit of the water and the air um, as you're working the bait, which I kind of like this little kind of keel, well, almost like, um, I don't know, but it's just, it's an it's a interesting design to me. The high hips protect the hook. It still compresses very well, I think. So uh, I'm interested to see how these work out. So those are the three colors I got. I got one for my black tones, um, being in the Midnight Stealth. I've got the bluegill for that chartreuse color pattern that I like. And then again, um, the original one, which was the speckled bullfrog for just your, you know, your nice white belly. Uh, the reason I like this deal was they're on sale at Shop Carl's right now if you're a Shop Carl's member, which I am. You can do what you want. I think, again, if you're a person who shops quite consistently, um, joining the Shop Carl's Club pays for itself. Again, with that, you also have the Shop Carl's Insurance. So if, not these, because these are, I don't believe these would uh, account, but if you have a hard bait, say you have a jerk bait, which again, this transition period as the water's cooling down, jerk baits are a definite go-to. Um, low, low depth suspending jerk baits with that rip-rip pause presentation are going to be phenomenal for you uh, in the September um, in the late August, early September um, uh, time frame. I hope you're out there catching big, big tanks. Um, but if you lose something like that on your, on your reel when you're out fishing, and it's something you purchased from Shop Carl's within, I think it's 60 days or 90 days, um, you can get it replaced. There are some parameters I've mentioned in a previous video. I'll probably leave the link for it right up here. And uh, you guys can check that video out. But uh, there are some parameters you have to meet, uh, but if they fall into that category, they'll replace it for you for free up to four per year, or I should say up to four for every 365 days. So if you've replaced a bait, it takes 365 days until you can return that fourth um, uh, insurance claim. So if you buzz through all four of them in one month, you're not going to be able to use them until that month the following year. So that's something to keep uh, keep in the back of your mind. Um, but they're on sale, and uh, I also used from a fellow YouTuber, Tackle Junkie, I used his promo code, uh, which actually added an extra $10 discount off of the entire purchase price, provided I, set, I spent a certain amount of uh, all my products. So I threw into it a couple of these um, Eagle Claw Laser Sharp, no, not really Laser Sharp, but the size 140 pound quick snaps, I like these little snaps over the old, um, you know, snap clasps. Um, these I just think 
they're a little bit more stout and, and, and sturdy for me. Um, and I've used these a lot for, you know, pike and musky and things like that. They don't, they don't break off and they don't, they don't open up uh, like traditional snaps will. So I got these. All that with the three tataki frogs and the snaps got me over that threshold for the purchase price. So originally this was um, $35, $36. Uh, they were on sale, which brought the total purchase to $25-ish. And then with that discount promo code from the YouTuber, it took 10 extra dollars off. So all total, those four items cost me 15 bucks. So I can't, I can't imagine going to the store and spending 15 bucks for snaps and three topwater frogs, especially two new, or three new topwater frogs to the market. So that was cool. Also, um, while I was at Dick's, like I say, so that was the mail order side. Here was the in-store side. So I was at Dick's. I got a Pro Box we're going to crack into shortly, um, but I got some loose items as well. I picked up a Rainbow Trout version of the floating Rapala, which I love this. This is a three foot diving. Yeah, three to five foot. Um, this is the F9. I just, I love this bait. Again, it's a great little twitch bait. It's small and compact. You can use this in creeks, you can use this in ponds, you can use this in lakes and rivers. It always seems to work for me. Um, and I, I love, I love rainbow trout patterns on things. I think they, they mimic enough uh, and with the color and variation in the watercolors that you that you might fish it, clarity-wise, it'll change the hue of the purples and the blues, and you can actually mimic a lot of different types of fish and bait fish uh, while swimming something as simple as a little jerk bait. And I picked up these fun little guys. So these were uh, something I saw, I think, at ICAST. Um, these are the Lunker Hunt Skitter Lizard. Again, going back to the frogs, these are pretty cool. I got, again, a white, a green chartreuse, and a black color scheme. But these are really neat lizards, so I'm looking to use these more towards next year uh, when the spawn starts happening. These will be great for spawn bedding fish, I think. Um, they're a soft body frog front, uh, more sturdy, uh, almost like a foam rubber, uh, like the Lunker Hunt's... Um, uh, dragonfly material for the rear with this really kind of cool curly tail um, which has ribs like a dragon's tail on the back end or, or an alligator's tail crocodile's tail uh, so that'll displace a lot of water but they've added the benefit of instead of just having these frog hooks on the front which you may catch a fish they've added a hook slot in the rear for the tail and they have placed in there a nice stinger hook so chances are when they short strike for the tail, they'll get that stinger, even if they miss the two frog hooks in the front. So I've got the white pattern. Uh, this one is called, what do they call this color? Uh, this is the albino glow. I don't know why they call it glow. It may or may not, let me see, hold on. You out here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so it does, it actually, does you can see it actually glowing green there with the black light but you do get a fluorescence from um from this, this the paint scheme there is there is glow in the dark material inside of the uh the body of this so that's cool so it gives off a little green hue so that's the albina glow i also picked up for my green chartreuse style belly um this is the lizard's iggy so the iggy iguana i guess color tone, color scheme, and then for my black belly, it's kind of more of a brownish black, but this one is what they call the black wood, or excuse me, backwood, backwoods. So you got backwood, iggy, and the glow, albino glow. So I got these, and I picked up that, uh, that uh, rainbow trout Rapala. So I'm really interested next year, uh, come spawn, to start tossing those and see how they act. Um, I couldn't help. I saw them there, and I impulse buy. I love, you know, analogs that look like actual animals over just standard things. Although, you know, a rattle trap always catches, and that pretty much looks like anything. But the piece de resistance, we'll buzz right through this real quick. So we're halfway done with this video. And you guys can tell me, what do you think about this? This is Pro Box number 96. 
So drop a comment down below. What do you think about the lizards? What do you think about the new tataki frog? Have any of you picked up the tataki frog? It's not, you know, it's not like it just came out this day. Um, but uh, I'm interested to see what you, you guys think of it, if you've held one in your hand. I do like the design. Um, I'm surprised it's, it's a, it's a 10,000 fish product. I would have thought it might have gone in as a biospawn product if they might try to uh, go into more of the soft plastics and, and top water baits like that. So we've got box number 96. This is the Pro Series, not the Elite box. And let's see what we got inside. Yay! I hope it's... Oh, cards are on top. Almost dropped something. All right, so off the top, we've got our what's in the box card, two, four, six items. Six items right there. Not bad. So we got some Lucky Craft, the Azuri, Guggins, of course. Um, some big bite baits in here as well. Uh, here's our sticker for the retail pro box. Uh, before I cut my hand off. <laughs> we've got our... We've got our Dibble Digest... You can tell me what it's asking on the back of this and why I'm tearing it up and throwing it away and not talking about it. I will send you a package. First person to answer what that stupid thing was asking me uh, will win the contents of this box. How's that for one? Minus that booklet. <laughs> All right, so let's start off. We've got ourselves the Guggen... Oh, let's start at the top. we got ourselves Lucky Crafts Moonsault. So Lucky Craft... Moon salt. So we got ourselves a floating delta craw, eight to nine foot diving, two and a half inch. This is made obviously JDM for Lucky Craft USA in a nice craw pattern. This is a nice little uh, mid, I call it mid level, eight to nine. I, I consider a shallow running bait uh, your two to six foot range. I consider the six to seven, eight, eight foot down to like 10 is your mid depth. And then 12 down is more of like lower depth, like either lower third or lower quarters. And then the deep divers are the 20 footers and the 16, 20 foot depth kind of stuff. This one's eight to nine foot. Um, not bad. Lucky Croft, JDM products. Lucky, I love Lucky Craft stuff. So that's pretty cool. And it is floating, so this is one of those you can bang it off of rocks. If it gets hung up in something, you slack line, and a lot of times you can get it to back out and float back up and then carry on fishing. So that's pretty good. We've got ourselves a Yozuri knuckle bait. This is, again, this is the uh, UV color one. I still got the light out. So this is that UV lucky bait. You'll see it's glowing bright brilliant i know it's hard to tell but it, it glows bright brilliant green in the uv there so this is a 5 8 ounce and this is the prism ball so this doesn't have a rattle in it it's just the uh, see-through shimmer and glimmer of the prism um this is called well their color they give it is pwj r13 28 clw so CLW is the, I guess, the glow part of it. So there's that. Next up, we have the Guggen Squad's Filthy Frog. And this is in that nightclub um, black pattern. So you get the black belly. Awesome. I do think that anytime you're going to fish something you're not really accustomed to fishing, be it a rattle trap, a jerk bait, or whatever, for me personally, there's two colors that I always go for. Uh, if it's a underwater subsurface bait i'll go for a silvery shimmery shiner color to try that if it works then i'll start you know expanding my horizons with colors like reds and and chartreuses and and patterns like bluegill and and uh, of course the rainbow trout uh and other other items especially top waters i always start out with a black profile if nothing less black solid black colors are a great way to see whether or not you're going to get fish because it's just a profile. They're just seeing a shape shimmer through. The lateral line will pick up vibrations, but the profile gives them something to key in on. Um, also great for dirty water. So you get a black filthy frog. Again, still really good at this period of time. Uh, 
three to go. We're halfway through. Samantis Bait Swimantis. We know this. We get tons of these in every box, it seems. They must have a, a, a job lot of Samantis. So you got the same. Uh, again, it's not colored on the bag. We know it's a green pumpkin uh, with a black pepper flake. But, uh, you know, we, we like to think of uh, the old golden craw up there as a, as a staple. But there's that. Two more items. We got ourselves Big Bite Baits Limit Makers. Awesome. Awesome. So these are a little finessey. Um, they're kind of like between like a goby, a worm. Um, they're really cool. These are got a chartreuse belly, green pumpkin, watermelonish back, and black flake. They call this the Limit Maker in Watermelon Chartreuse. So there's that. And that's a full pack. You get 10 in a package. And they're three and a half inches. And they're giving you a set of flipping hooks, or excuse me, five inch fluke hooks. Uh, I use these a lot for flipping and pitching. But these are really stout, five inch, four aught, uh, sharp, wide gap hooks. And they've got two prongs right by the eyelet. And I use these for flipping and pitching because once you get these in the nose of that plastic, as you're dropping it down, especially if you have a weight ahead of it, I don't lose uh, baits. I use these a lot when I'm trying to actually punch with a fluke as opposed to like a beaver bait or something like that. I've had good success with these. So that's pretty cool. All right, so you got your... Okay, quick recap. We get ourselves the 5-inch fluke 4 aught hooks. We get ourselves the... Uh, the Big Bite Baits Limit Makers and that Chartreuse Watermelon. We have our Samantis Swimantis Baits. We've got ourselves that Guggen Squad's Midnight Club Filthy Frog. We get the Yozuri Knuckle Bait, kind of a gimmick. And uh, we've got ourselves the Lucky Croft JDM style Delta Craw Crank Bait. Along with the sticker and the what's in the box. And again, for the first person who can tell me what that Carl's uh, uh, pamphlet said, which drives me nuts, and it's pretty obvious, I hope, that you know what I'm talking about, because I had so many of them. Um, they're going to win all of this. First person, I will pin your comment in the top, and then uh, that person, I'll say in the next video, you can get a hold of me uh, at foulmouthfisherman at gmail.com, and... Uh, I will give you all those baits. So, uh, that being said, drop your comments in the bottom below as to, A, answer that question. B, what do you think about the, Lunk the Lunker Hunt lizards? Uh, do you think this is another one of those things where we're just getting a little bit too much into making things look like the animal and it really doesn't really need to be this kind of ornate? Um, what do you think about them putting that stinger hook coming with it right off the bat. And the stinger hook is harnessed to the frog hook, so you're not going to lose uh, lose fish on that. What do you think about uh, the tataki frogs from 10,000 Fish? Uh, I'm sure you've seen other reviewers talking about them. I didn't go into depth because, you know, a lot of people out there already uh, sharing their views on it. Um, I like it. I like the keel design again. I like that little cove in the back. And uh, from what I see, I, I have a lot of thoughts of success in this. So, uh, so especially the way, like I said, the way it's weighted, I don't have to add additional weight to counter the buoyancy and really kick that, that butt end down. I think this is going to walk a lot better. So we'll see. I'll, I'll put it to the test against my other many, many, many frogs. So uh, give me your best comments. What do you think? Uh, as always, I love interacting with you guys. I appreciate you guys staying with me on this. And uh, as always, for me to you, tight lines. And I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Oklahoma.